come out recently. <laughs> Legit wonderful. Yes. Hey, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Don't enjoy yourself. You're only allowing these people to just make more of this with this secret saying who's stronger than freaking SS Blue Vegito. Cool. And he's just in the shadows and never mentioned and in his secret prison. Cool. Cool. This is what we're getting. Yep. <laughs> but oh. people recognize it's a fun joke fluff who gives a shit. As opposed to here's Jiren, the greatest villain I've ever seen. But he is though. I will I cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That there. sounds like a very similar to reaction that you just had about Dragon Ball Heroes, though, so I'm confused. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was talking, DA showed me another Heroes thing, and I'm just like, cool. No. Super <laughs> is trash. <laughs> there, there, there's the tenors of BG's cools that you really, that you have to, like, really listen for the subtlety. Cool is like, yeah, he's okay with it. Cool is he's pissed off at it. <laughs> we in there. Fuse, <laughs> cool. Get in there, Jiren. Yep. Yeah. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> Anything, Jiren is like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> My girl Bell took me straight to the top. Why am I not surprised, Bell? They weren't ready for it. You almost lost to a Ganon. You, I, you don't. That's the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost losing to a Ganon? Almost losing the Ganon. Because if you, no matter who you are, you are, you're always one hit away from almost losing to a Ganon. It's not fair. <laughs> Is Ganon really I'm just imagining, long? like, just milestone moments of your life, like graduating high school, you almost... <laughs> <laughs> just your teacher stamping an F on your paper. <laughs> Doria! Go to your job interview for your current job, and he's just waiting there behind the door, charging the kick. Just <laughs> All right, let, let's uh, let me open this uh, door to the workshop. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Pokemon had another little trailer thing. Showed off some new Dynamax forms, which are like the giant forms. Charizard That's looks so fucking. I'm so dumb. I'm so I hate all of it. How y'all hitting a thousand with all the humans and the Pokemon are just stinking I, up the joint. I that like, coffin looks so dumb. I like Dynamax Charizard. He looks pretty fucking. Cool they sexy. keep wheeling out Charizard, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Blastoise and Venusaur gets no kind of love. Char is always Charizard, and I'm sick of it. It's because Charizard, man. Yeah. Charizard the best. He's no. not the best. He is the best. Charizard the best. <laughs> He's good. He but is. I, so they showed off a bunch of different Dynamax forms, and they have ones for the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And I just love the fact that Let's Go Pikachu's Dynamax form is just original fat Pikachu. Seriously. It is it's all amazing. it is. <laughs> Can we talk about Meowths, though? I hate it. It looks <laughs> so stupid. Long cat. I hate it. Very long cat. Yeah. Like, Pikachu's like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a cute callback. Meowth. Wait, guys, what the fuck? That's the... Uh, that, no. That was the drugs finally kicking in. Like, <clears throat> they had some good designs, and then, like... At the peak of the creative portion of their high, they made Sir Fetched, who's amazing. And then the <laughs> Then they lost the buzz and Dynamax Meow came out of it. Robert Downey Jr.'s Doolittle. Oh the, did you the see accent the accent is the accent is the thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Reddit stuff. No. Wait, what? Uh, the Reddit stuff for the Ronnie Doolittle. There was a dude that was working on a production company, and he just started releasing information. So oh. the director was a piece of sh that clearly was out of his league and did not know what the f he was doing mm. and oh, micromanaging great. everything. So <clears throat> they would be shooting for the day, 
and the people would go, so where are the animals going to be placed? Because we need to know where Down, uh, where Downey's going to be standing so we can place the animals there in post. And he goes, eh. Ugh. We'll figure it out. Let's get this shot of shooting. Mm. And there's like five stories of that. Interesting. We'll, just, the, we'll feel it out. Great. <laughs> Dude ended it with, I don't know who the production company is that they brought in, but if they can make it even watchable, they all deserve a raise. <laughs> so he's thinking this is going to be a dumpster fire. Interesting. I believe it, which would be very sad for Downey, I feel like. He'd just kind of be annoyed. <laughs> who cares? He doesn't care. No, he doesn't. He he doesn't. This he's, dude he's is money. doing, this is a passion project out there. Yeah. He's like, whatever, freaking dog movie, polar bear, let's rock it. Yeah, he, he don't need this. He's set for life. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's done. He's 100% done. If they just go, this guy's eating five devil fruits, nobody wants to see that. Because <laughs> it's you, such you, a drop you say from that. the older quality. You say that. You say that. <laughs> we got Jim Bay fans out there. You have Jim Bay fans out there. Who Everybody wants man. to see SS5 Goku. Everybody's waiting for that next one. I think people just want Super Saiyan 4 back. Oh, definitely. It's the best form. It's the best form. It's the best form. I just, so, uh, on that note, uh, you guys just put out the first episode of A New Revisited. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so fun it was wasn't it DA? fun at all was it? <laughs> i got i got so angry and i'm like oh, I, I hate feeling this way and then i just got i just got drained of energy i'm like well at least i know that i'm, I'm not a murderer or anything so it's just, it's like all right take me in officer i, I did it <laughs> i just got i just got drained for like five minutes i'm like i, I gotta keep the energy up and i'm just like Oh, BG, go on a huge rant. And BG's like, well, that sucks. Pause, look at me. I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, no. Take the ball, BG. <laughs> oh, no. No, sir. You dribbled because the rest the, of this the, shot clock out, my friend. <laughs> the, the issue with that was you went four and a half minutes. We played about 20 seconds. I went for maybe 40 seconds, and then you jumped right back in. So I'm like, oh, he's got more in him. And then we, for the beginning of part two, you go on another rant. Oh, and then God. you just, for like five minutes, go, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he threw. <laughs> oh, he used it all up. He got nothing left. He threw it all at the spirit bomb and <laughs> still I'm had not an angry person. To go. <laughs> but this dude was talking all this hot nonsense. Yeah, it was terrible. And I just exploded like three times. And then I Ooh. just went. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like fun. Jen Lock sucks. Oh my goodness. This was like, dude, you're doing stuff that legitimately pisses me off. He was so mad. Did y'all see that updated Sonic? Yes. I was no. going to get to that after this. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. We stand with movies. All right. All right. Yes. He looks so much better. Look good. He oh, what happened? He looked he looked you were just uh, no, about. No. I said it looked fine. <laughs> now uh -huh. I'm saying it looks good. In your breath. I never said that looked good. Bruh. My, I was on the fine train. <laughs> That train was a crash <laughs> because he wasn't fine. Yeah, he wasn't okay. <laughs> we Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast of stuff, episode two oh nine. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. 
All nah, I'm big single. Screw y'all. Yep. Me, you know, same here. <laughs> they All only here have are. importance if you give it to them. <laughs> And that so uh, no Ralph today as uh, him and his roommates have people over for Valentine's Day. Not sure what that entails, but he orgy. Is... Oh, that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise people over. Oh yeah, I, I see say... the masquerade mask coming out and everything. <laughs> I was gonna is. say predisposed, but you know. <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, there'll are... be a lot of pre there, but it won't be about the hey. <laughs> Oh my god! But any any time I hear pre, I just go to the Game Grum slash Super Mega. I'm gonna pre bit. <laughs> no, the worst is uh, Da and I were talking about this on one of the revisited Zabas of Sword. It's a rap on his name. Anytime you hear Zabza, you just gotta think Sword cannot be beat. It can't be beaten. Um, the other thing, uh, uh, those that are like out and about, uh, you might want to like just stay put until Tuesday because holy shit, <laughs> it, at least I don't know how far north this snowstorm's going as far as Michigan's concerned, but uh, basically from like Columbus all the way through the north part of Ohio, we're getting hit with like 12 inches over the next day Whoa. and a half, yeah. Yeah, New York is getting hit too. And there's <laughs> there's a Facebook post by someone I guess who works for uh, ODOT, like the people who maintain roads and stuff during snowstorms and stuff here, and basically just saying, "Hey, like, <laughs> you, you, uh, like to try and circumvent some people bitching and moaning about the roads not going to be clear. Sometimes Mother Nature wins." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. It, it, it's all these nonsensical, entitled babies just going. It snowed at 3 o'clock in the morning, and it's 3.18, and the roads are still snowy. What's wrong with the, my tax dollars? Shut up! It's like, like, at least from what the reports are going, it's basically going to be an inch an hour, which is a fuck ton of snow. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. He's like... Uh, cars, you know, have to refuel the salt, refuel themselves as far as, like, gas tanks and whatever. He's like, you know, a half hour off of the road, every road that that plow covered, like, or, like, took care of is covered again. Like, it, there's... Yeah, it's a half inch. Yeah. Just doing basic maintenance. <laughs> it's a yeah. half inch. You're just doing donuts. <laughs> Cover your own tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's... I need to... Like, just because of... Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Black Lives Matter and wear your fucking mask. Uh, just because uh, of... No, they don't. No, they don't. Mm -mm. COVID. Black lives we, do not matter. No. Don't wear your mask. We live in a society. We're done with that. We're, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> we will get to that. The audacity! How long until we get to it? We can start I'm with I'm bursting at the seams here! <laughs> we can get... Don't worry. <laughs> As soon as I saw you retweet that, I'm just like, oh, DA is like, it's one of those things oh, where it's going to be oh, like, oh, yeah, he's having, he having a field day. Scratching at a I'm, chalkboard, just man, waiting for the cast. I've never wanted to be a reactor more than that one second where that happened. Because I was just the biggest coon clown you done ever seen. I literally threw up my hands. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what's well, the only thing I just want to say while we're on the topic of snow because we're not talking about it after this. Um, one of there's this guy. No, we're who definitely lives... talking about it because it's going up somebody's nose with that in trailer. <laughs> mm. No, I'm saying the snow. We're not going to talk about snow after this. Oh, but okay, never mind. It just quit. yeah. There you go. <laughs> I get it. Um, there's this uh dude. Like I haven't really talked to any of my neighbors just because of COVID. Like, I'm not in a mood to go and be talking to anyone <laughs> in person. Um, Understandable. So, but there's this uh, older gentleman who lives, like, right directly across from me in the cul-de-sac. Definitely, like, he's retired. Um, 
But this dude has been salting our entire cul-de-sac. He's got one of those like little mules, like the little like utility vehicles. That has, okay, because like, I just started thinking about a donkey, and I'm like, why? <laughs> that's what they're called. Um, okay. I can completely, if you haven't seen one, I can completely understand why you would know what the fuck they are. Um, they're, they're basically like a mix between a like four wheeler and a truck. Best way I can describe it. Um, but yeah, like he has that, and he has like a little salt thing that he like goes up and down and around our cul de sac, and then he has snow plowed my driveway at least five times now in my sidewalk. So, like, more than anyone, I just want to be like, dude, like, thank you so much. What is your drink of preference? <laughs> I owe you a couple bottles. <laughs> so yeah, nice. He's bored. He just. Yeah, he's he a whole just, man. Just I, like, like, I got to feel virile. <laughs> <laughs> like, for sure. Like, he's retired and it's just something for him to do. But it's still, like, immensely appreciated. And it's just, it's, I'm happy to have that as my neighbor versus the abusive family that used to live right across the street from me. Oh no. Yeah. Did I tell you about when I moved out? No. Oh, oh boy. Like for for one to preface the story, I hope these kids got help. Honestly. Oh, is Uh, that bad? Yes. Um, basically, uh, the, teenage boy came out and was basically like wandering uh around the street for something and then uh him and then his stepfather who is basically old enough to be his grandfather um got into some kind of tiff and this is the literally the last day I am at my old place I am I had rented a dumpster and I was throwing out all the extra shit that I had mm. and like basically it was like fill up the dumpster close it leave the keys in the house and I was gone. Like <laughs> that was going to be it. it. That's the last thing. Yeah. And do, do your last little, the end of fresh prints, look at the empty room, <laughs> cut off the light. Exactly. <laughs> Except that's a black and white flashback of us playing D and D the chinchillas. <laughs> Except imagine that scene, but in the background you hear, a kid getting put into a headlock by his abusive stepfather. Oh no. Yeah. So I'm like filling it up and then I see like their front screen door open for a bit. And then I see this incident happening. I'm like, Oh, Oh no. Oh no. The Man, kid comes outside. The stepfather. And he's a teenager. That kid should have dipsy rolled him. <laughs> he's, he's a skinny teen. He was like m- me as a teen who was a twig. Um, yeah, he'll blow away in the wind before he actually gets a roll going. Yeah. So they, he comes outside. The stepfather comes outside. The mom comes outside. They're all just cussing at each other. All of them. Um, and base and like, I, I think there's, a, it was like a pent up thing. So apparently like what happened was the mom was giving him sass inside, probably cussing him while he actually, she was cussing him out as they walked inside because she cusses them out all the time. Um, the kid or the, the daddy? The the mom was cussing out the kid. Okay. <clears throat> and then apparently the kid slapped his mom. To Ooh. then the stepdad started trying to beat the shit out of the kid. But apparently this has been a built up thing for a while. So the kid like says like he's like leaving and the mom is just like goodbye goodbye like just basically telling him to like leave like Being on yeah so he's like going up and down the street calling people um like going back and forth between the house like punching and kicking the stepdad's car um it continuously mom and stepdad coming out and <clears throat> his sister um is like trying to like calm things down but then like as like things are blowing up everyone else in the cul-de-sac's coming out um and he's like screaming he's just like it's like you let him basically going to the mother it's like you let him abuse us your daughter's cutting herself because she's so depressed like just a venting to the world of like all this crap and 
Then as everyone and Bridget else. Bridget's in there like, do I need these shoes? I don't think I, I, think I can throw these away. <laughs> you, you, you slept with my sister and. <laughs> <laughs> like, it got too nice for a bit old. <laughs> As we're doing that, br- like, my roommate Brian comes and just, like, he comes out the car, like, walks up to the house, and, like, his eyes are just like, uh, I'm like, mm hmm, this has been happening for a couple hours now. <clears throat> so, like, we're just trying to hurry up. <laughs> One, my neighbor to the, like, to the right, if you're facing the house, the neighbor on the right side, who, again, like, most of these people I didn't talk to just because, just, not my type of people but our neighbors were also planning to move as well <laughs> and and the wife like as i'm throwing stuff in the dumpster she's like you glad to be moving <laughs> first thing she's ever said to me i just gonna give her like a wide-eyed big ass shake of my head like mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh but then like um of course all these families start coming up that are like air quotes friends with them and the mom, like, as the families are coming out, it's like, I love you, son. I love you. And I'm just, like, looking at this. I'm like, bullshit, woman. <laughs> <laughs> and the families are coming out. And it's just like, oh, you're like, he just, he, he's like, you know, just such a problem child. He's bringing things out, like, you know, em- embarrassing us in front of the neighbors. And just like, this, like grade a manipulation i feel like is going on like and i feel like oh, yeah. the neighbors at this point too are just like they're just kind of like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, just like humoring these parents and then this one kid who i guess was friends with um the son like basically he's like at one point actually was holding the son back from like throwing fisticuffs with his stepdad um like gets them in a car and like is driving to their house and the stepdad is just like uh it's like, thank you so much for your help, like, blah de blah like, Trevor, or whatever. And and I will say, this kid, I was just like, fuck yes. This kid was just like, you need to solve whatever this is, because clearly something's wrong. And, like, walks away. I'm just like, good kid. Fucking good kid right there. <laughs> but, yeah, like, the, and that, that house had, like, cops called on them multiple times. Like, I'm guessing Child Protective Services has been a thing at that house. Just... Literal last hours. <laughs> that's and Just, see that that's a bit of I don't know what that is, but that that seems like a bit of white privilege. Because up until I was like sixteen or seventeen, I'm like I can get a good hit on my mom, but she would destroy me. Right. And it'd be like what it is. She just get angry. And just we oh she we literally saw her beat this sh- out of a woman <laughs> that's probably what it was like oh yo that'd be me <laughs> i got all this hair she wrapping around and says wham wham <laughs> well like obviously you know like different disciplines and different families but like i'm assuming there's no question that your mom loved you guys no no question exactly like and i think that's the key difference here the like to me the all i needed to see was the mom as the kid was like i'm going to run away her just saying goodbye like i'm like that's that's callous that's not love (laughs) yeah my it's just like and again like obviously very different upbringing here um like for at least for my mom like I remember there's one point where when I was like 16, I want to say I was like going to grab some game or something from uh, <clears throat> family video. And I had accident- old, old, oh, yeah. you're dating yourself, Mike. I know. So Are I'm you like- sure you're not married to the woman, grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> I, was- <laughs> I was like 16 or 17 at the time. And I had un- like, completely obliviously and i didn't even feel it accidentally backed into somebody drove home and at one point like i like i drove up to a stoplight there's a car that like was behind me and like whipped right next to me but i had my music i didn't hear anything I keep driving the car whips back into that lane and then i finally realized like as i'm about to pull into my driveway i'm like this person's following me and get out my car this dude like and again me completely oblivious as to what had happened didn't even know i hit somebody this guy who was like this like six two like really stocky gentleman 
and me being skinny as fuck 16 year old <laughs> he just like walks up to me he's like you think you're pretty funny do you he like grabs me shoves me against my car i'm like i don't i don't know what's going on sir <laughs> like what he's just, and then like tells me and then i walk in uh my mom, mom was just like uh <clears throat> like what's going on like this dude was just like you need to get out here right now and I was like, Mom, this dude just followed me home. Uh, he threw me against my car. And then immediately the mother hen kicked in. He's <laughs> just like, what? Runs outside and, <laughs> like, I, you know, like, the Rage Hulk moments of, like, people being, like, you know, your kin being in danger or whatever. Yeah. I feel like at that moment, my mom could have probably taken this dude. <laughs> just like, you touched my son? <laughs> like, I was like, Oh my god! I've never seen my mom this angry before. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, there was there was a night that I got robbed and I came home like, yeah, I got robbed. And she stood up and was like, which way did they go? I went, <laughs> hang on, because <laughs> it happened like right outside. I was like, which way? I was like, oh no! There's been so, there were so many times we were in grade school and like a girl would push us down. She'd go. Do I have to come up there <laughs> and have you point them out? No, you do not. Oh, look who it is. I, I was able to arrive a little ah. late, but I'm hello. The Boy, over, you huh? are a quick shot then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Two pump chump. <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that with an actual response. <laughs> well, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello to you fuckers too. I see how this is going already. Oh boy. Oh yeah. We just naturally assumed you were part of an orgy. If you show up late, you gonna get mocked. (laughs) Oh, I know. No matter what the situation is. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. He only lasts. He only lasts two ace, and then just completely over. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Really? No. See, you got the metric wrong. Hey, I'm erect over here. Hey, I'm pumping here. <laughs> you, you, that's what I was going to go for, you shithead. <laughs> you fucking couldn't let it get out. I could be the one to say it. You got to fucking yell it out like a moot. All right. You fucking bum. <laughs> <laughs> fucking straight chimp. No, no. You don't get to be defensive. You take this. You show Yeah, that's me. what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the fuck back. You take this. That's what he said. Wow. Oh. I don't know, I was a Republican. Oh. God damn. Oh Jesus. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Starting off fucking strong. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, we we were just, like, talking. You missed the story of my last day at my house where I saw an entire abusive family dynamic just come to a screeching train wreck. <clears throat> you can re-listen to the episode. Yeah, I'll watch back. Don't worry about that. Um, Keep going. And then, we, and then we got into, like, mother hens, like how our moms would just basically want to beat people up to defend us. But! Oh, that wasn't mine. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Nope, not even close. Yeah. My mother was a fucking coward. Yeah, she really? cried. She cried. Mm. Oh, you got beat up? Did you did you just accept it and walk away? Good. That's what you're supposed to do. Meanwhile, my dad. Did you fucking bury him? Good. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to fucking do. Here's a gun. I still got the gun from last time. Uh, clearly oh, it ain't work, so no, no, no. here go another gun. No, 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 no. Here's a giant leather coat. You about to be Dante. <laughs> My old man had a strict anti-gun stature. He said, no, "You only someone... need two no, guns." Okay, okay wait, one, a wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> there is yes and, and there is no but. <laughs> Stop uh-huh. the jokes, y'all. There was no guns with my father. Nope. That's not the events that occurred. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's the truth. He only the one in my pants for this orgy. <laughs> he actually viewed guns as a coward's way through a fight. Absolutely. I always say that a lot of black people get the beat out of them and they go, oh, I can't hang with that disrespect. I just got to kill this person. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. No, no. My, my old man took out... There's only one story he ever told me about a guy who pulled a gun on him, and he fucking... He almost killed him. He might have actually killed him. We don't know. Yeah, uh, nah. Like I said, I witnessed the shooting, and I was just like, did that really just happen? <laughs> Whew. Okay. So, bunch of new shit happened over... No, there's one new shit. Of course. The, the, the big new, that's the big shit, but we have a little, like, tiny rabbit turds that we gotta go through mm. first. <laughs> did you watch this week's WandaVision, Mike? I did. But uh, I wanna, like, wait until it's all out, BG and DA binge it, and then we can talk about it in... Oh, oh. fucking Christ. <clears throat> talk about it in, like, y'all's secret Discord. Leave <laughs> us out of it. Plus, this week's sure episode was just kind of, like existed it was a build no there were some moments there that were it, it, very it was, it was more of a build up serious <clears throat> anyways <clears throat> so going through small news things um e3 is actually happening this year in a digital capacity which to me hopefully means less of the spectacle it was going to become yeah the influence back to its roots <clears throat> so we'll see um, I, it, it would even it, it would make more sense to have like YouTubers and influencer presenting things now because it's a that's what I was thing. about to say yeah yeah now it makes it now it makes more sense to do the opposite Mike and become full fledged focusing on influencer I just, and I just don't want marketing that. marketing people I, really I don't mind that. it if it's a digital thing because clearly they're in that space you no know, you know what they need to do they need to open up E3 with a CD Projekt Red logo. And it's just Keanu Reeves in a fucking uh, funeral suit, sitting in a Lazy Boy recliner, and just apologizing for ten minutes. It should be the South Park thing, but it's just Keanu. We're sorry. <laughs> just in a exactly. bunch of different locations. It should just be green screen behind him. Seriously, though. It, he, they, they, this is like, that is the biggest shame moment in gaming in modern history. I will only accept that if the next trailer after that is by some random fucking studio that you never heard before, and it's just the pirated copies of Cyberpunk and Witcher 3. Please. <laughs> Please. I really want to know what they sold for. Um, all like we that know is that they sold in a dark web auction. That's all we know. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that can go for a million. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I... I... I the company everybody's like you know I'm glad this happened because they made a bad game. Oh yeah, like, this is disgusting. What's wrong with y'all? Yeah. And then employees' information was in there, and it's just like these people can be docs, and even ex employees can have their information, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, but I bought a sixty dollar game, and I didn't like it, so mm -hmm. I was old a good game. Like that, an entitled person. Oh my god. They won a copy of CD of uh, not CD Project Red clearly, but uh, Cyberpunk before it even came out. And the person delivered the game, and then like two weeks later, the person was like, "Uh, yeah, this game is suck. It sucks. I feel like you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. I should get a gift card." Wow. And it's like <clears throat> you entered for the game, you got the game, but because you don't like the game or it's messed up, you think I should give you more? Yes. Yes. That would be like me. So, uh, I got a PS5, finally. Thank fucking God. Ooh. I don't need to be a hawk on Did Twitter you scalp? anymore. No. Did you scalp? Good. A bundle on I've now. seen so many people just like, I gave in. And I'm just like, you hold the fort! Hold the line. <laughs> yeah, I got, it was a bundle. It was the disc version, which, all right. What are you going to do? Concession. It can't, it I wish I would have got the disc version now because DA is a man that's just like, I want to build up my PS4 collection, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow, he's got some good games over there that I can't play. I would love to play Yakuza. <laughs> Cannot. Did, did you sell your PS4? No, uh, I gave my PS4 to DA. Oh. Yeah. I have no use for it anymore, so I gave that to him and I got my PS5. I see. <clears throat> um... The yeah, disc version, it comes with the Spider-Man game, which I wanted, an extra controller, mm -hmm. a gift card to GameStop, and the only thing that, like, really I don't want 
at all is it also comes with NBA 2K21, which <clears throat> that would be like me being like, yeah, I bought this bundle, but I really don't want this game, so pay me it, pay me back in full. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, that's exactly what it would be like. <laughs> Which I offer, I need a full refund for this. Yeah, which granted, I'm going to sell it back to GameStop. <laughs> oh yeah, no, why not? Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm. D- there were so many times <laughs> this past week, like after I had got it, I got the confirmation email. I'm like, yes, finally. I'm like going through Twitter, and Wario sixty four is like PS direct sale. I'm like, <gasps> oh wait, oh wait, we're good. We're good. We don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> Bro, like, I, I, I don't know if I told DA or I told somebody else this, but it's just like, I got my PS5 a week after it came out, and then it's like February, and I'm just like, there's still people hunting for PS5. Because mm-hmm. I'm in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah. I got one. Everybody should have no, been able to get one by the same thing. And then I'm just like, I see all these people on forum just like, I can't find this nowhere on these scalpers. And I'm just like, what happened? I, All right. I, it, it, for me, it's, it's with my with, with my One Piece game. It would be like, oh, my goodness, I need a team without Roger. I'm like, I got Roger. Why don't you have Roger? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> should have Roger. I have him. I, it, it's, it's some kind of selfish. It's something in the back of my mind. It's like, well, I got him, so why don't you? <laughs> It's like a belief that if I got it, everyone can have it by now. BG, welcome to white privilege. (laughs) You know what? That's exactly what it is. (laughs) I I don't see the racism, so clearly there is no racism. I got mine. You're just not fighting hard enough for yours. (laughs) Pull yourself up by the bootstraps and get on that website earlier. Bro, I saw some freaking blog or article. It was just like, uh, this woman erased 120000 in student loan debt by 28. It's just like, well, and she's like, you know, I budgeted and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, the inheritance I got helped a little. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't see a bunch of them. Just like, oh, I started up my own business by 21. My dad gave it to me. It's like, you didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you bragging for? Like, yeah. oh, boy. They just don't know what it's like to not have that money. So it's just like, I've got this money. I did all this. Why can't you do all this? Because I don't have that money. Oh, word? Mm-hmm. And that's what it's like. You don't have a PS5? Oh, word? <clears throat> I don't think uh the kids even have a PS5 yet. <laughs> it's all bad out here. Mm-hmm. All right, other other little news tidbits. Uh, there was a release date and little logo teaser for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, aptly titled Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <clears throat> with the Amazing tail, title. With the little, little tails, too. And that uh, for me, like, the thing that I got, like, <clears throat> Sonic 2 was, I think, my first video game? I want to say it was. Um, it was Sonic, video Sonic, game. Sonic, Sonic Hedgehog right. 2 was my first. Because I got it, I got it packaged Emerald on the Hills. Genesis with Sonic, Sonic yeah. and Knuckles was the yeah. pre-packaged, I believe, right? No, 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 no. That was Sonic Three. That was Sonic Three. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Three and Sonic uh, and Knuckles were kind of like the. They came out at the same time, roughly. It was basically okay. um, A and B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because my A, first, my first video game was literally a Sega Genesis with Sonic and Knuckles, that flipping cartridge that you could plug a second cartridge yep. into. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That and Sonic 3, I guess. Yeah, Sonic 2 was mine, and then just hearing the Emerald Hills popping over the logo, nostalgia fuel. Um, it was a good little remix as well. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. Which, okay, actually, that, that reminds me, I have another little sidebar. So, <clears throat> speaking of, like, nostalgia and, like, childhood yeah. memories. So, I recently started re-watching, just because I'm playing the Digimon game, I started re-watching American Digimon. Oh no! Oh. Why would you do that? Big mistake, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why would you do that? It like one it's like bad. Ha- like the writing scheme <laughs> for these shows because like obviously like kid shows have definitely gotten not more, more mature. mature, not more mature like not in the not more mature in the sense of like 
older, but like that's childish. No, yes. yeah, there's there's less gimmicks down. Yes, that, like much. they realize kids are smarter. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and just like the the scheme of it was just like joke, 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 plot, joke, 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 digivolve. Attack, attack, signature attack episode. <laughs> and, yeah. like, with how, like, and just some of the stuff that, like, couldn't get around, one of my favorite things that I saw was, it was, like, the second or third episode. So, like, first episode, they find, or second episode, they find the pay phones. <clears throat> third episode, they find the, the trolley car. Um, and then they're wandering in a desert with a whole bunch of telephone poles. And, like... If I were to go back and watch the Japanese version, <clears throat> probably what, this is would have been like them being like, "There's all this like human stuff in the digital world, like those telephone things and or the telephone, the pay blah pay phones and the trolley car." And then the line in the American version is just me be going, "Hey guys, do you remember the those telephones and the trolley car? Yeah, why? Oh, no reason." <laughs> and then they just move on. I'm like. They couldn't even, like, <laughs> phrase it in a way that's like, this is a flashback, and them putting <laughs> dot to dot, A to B. It's just Mimi saying, hey, remember those things? Cool. <laughs> and they move on. See, when I started rewatching Yu-Gi-Oh!, because I realized <clears throat> oh, I had never really watched GX or the end of the first season, so I'm just like, yeah, I'll rewatch mm-hmm. it. Japanese instantly went to the sub. I'm not doing a dub. Yu Gi Oh is fine. GX is a mess. Oh, GX. The manga of GX is amazing. I'm talking about the dub. I know. I don't care. The dub? The dub. (laughs) Oh. Did you hear Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, uh, elephant? No. That that is the thing with four kids that they like. Voiced by Sean Schimmel? They like to give voices, (laughs) funny voices. And this goes into what I was saying, though. So there was, uh, when they go back to the real world, when they're fighting Myotismon, um, there's a Digimon in it called Phantommon. And he talks like a spooky ghost. Yeah, I remember. And there's a one point where they're res- trying to rescue their parents. And uh, Biomon evolves to Bergermon. And there is a line that Phantommon says that just, like, immediately took me back to being a kid because i remember and i think this was like an episode i saw a bunch like on repeat like on tv and i just felt i thought the line was hilarious as a kid and just just i don't know it it stuck with me for all these years and i didn't realize it and it's just like bergermon like it digivolves you see her like flying far away and then she comes in and swoops in and just phantomon in his voice is like oh it's just a bird a rather large bird, actually. A large angry bird. Oh, and, like, he gets hit. And just for some reason, that line, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, just immediately, like, sitting in front of the couch watching the show, just brought back. And, like, I actually wanted to ask that, like, is there anything like that for you guys where it's just, like, you could hear a line from a show you watched as a kid <clears throat> or just, like, see something and just, like, be immediately brought back to that time? Mike, right before the podcast, we said that Z- Zabuza's name was ruined because we can't think of it of, outside of Zabuza's sword can't be beat. A commercial that aired exclusively on Cartoon Network. That is true. <laughs> His name is ruined because of a dumb commercial. Absolutely, Mike. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Do you think that we can't recite at least two thirds of Good Burger out the gate? <laughs> DA just did a reckon I'll take these shoes joke and revisit it. Like, we're reference machines, and if we hear it, we're, we're instantly, in 30 years, yeah, DA's right. gonna go, a hugga hugga. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even so much exactly. like, like, to me, it, like, there's a difference as far as a reference and just like, just being like sent back i don't know like it, there was just a feeling that i had that was just like an no, overwhelming absolutely. wash i i'll say this never had it 
Really? Never. I feel like this is very much what people uh, want out of their nostalgia. They want to recapture a feeling that's gone. It's in gone. I will experience the feeling I have now and enjoy the feeling I have now for it, <laughs> as opposed to trying to recapture something that I'm never going to get back. That's why I feel like uh, Star Wars fans. Oh, it's the planet. Oh, it's Luke. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Recapture the feeling I had when I was uh, 13 and saw Star Wars for the first time. No, it's gone. No, I don't think that's what he means by that. I think he means just like, maybe not... Because this is this is what happened with me. I was watching Pepper Ann recently. That's not fair. And, and I remember like one of my favorite episodes was where um, Craig was showing up all the time. It was just like, is Pepper Ann and and uh, Milo dating? And every time they'd be in a compromised position, she's like, well, and it was a time where she falls, uh, Milo grabs him. And I, and in my mind, I know, I, I'm like, I know what this line is gonna be. It's gonna be, he's right behind me, isn't he? And I, and she said that, and it wasn't a funny line, but I just smiled, like, yeah, it's, it's that feeling of. Yeah, it's it's familiar. Yeah, it's familiar. I understand that. But it doesn't bring me back to where I was during the time of whatever that sh- that happened was. No, I think I think that once you're like 70, you're going to watch Coco on your deathbed and you're going to be transported <laughs> back to that first time in the theater like sorry. Uh... I'm I, I can't I won't have the moisture leave my body, so I can't watch Coco. <laughs> Try something else. <laughs> he will die <laughs> if he watches. I need every and bit of that moisture. But yeah. you're locked in a Trump bunker <laughs> at age seventy. Oh, oh boy. But yeah, I uh, I got through. No, I, I, I I dig you, Mike. Yeah, well, I it's, dig you. It's like I hadn't felt Mike, that. I, in I'm a about re- to tell you something real quick. Mm. Da is. Agreeing with you because he wants to move on to this trailer. No, I'm, I'm not. No, he I, is. You you aren't, but you keep interrupting him like, yeah, I got you, Mike. Just to be like, move it along. I want to <laughs> talk about this in trailer. <laughs> He's got you red, kid. I hate that VG knows me so well. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mike just was like, yeah, just you're like, no, I got you, Mike. I got you. And then Mike's about to cut right back into it, and I can feel the internal mm, trailer. <laughs> Still got more news. Um, we have castings for Joel and Ellie in the Last of Us movie, Pedro Pascal, and then Bella Ramsey. She played the kid Mormont in Game of Thrones. Um, the casting's good, but it could be better. It's good. I you just like, that like, joke flew right over your fucking head, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Completely no. over. I don't really understand. What was the joke? He's not he's either not familiar with the meme or has not, not watched Wonder Woman uh eighty four. I have not, neither. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's why it flew over his All head. right. It's the line Because that... it's not a it's not like a a meme that caught fire meme like Spongebob breathing yeah. meme where it's just like and Patrick looking down yeah. where like seeing everywhere his character in Wonder Woman has like the catchphrase he's like life is good but it could be better it's in the trailers too uh, <laughs> and, okay. and that I, is now a meme yeah gotcha okay so it's like X is X but it could be better is the meme now um like people used it for uh, "Life Is Good" with Gina Carano getting fired, and then it could be better with him getting cast as Joel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, which yeah, yeah that's what another a, thing. What a horrible woman. Gina Carano got uber fired from Disney and her Hi! talent agency. And you were about to she lose immediately your got job. A, she immediately got another deal. Immediately. Well, hey, hey, let's 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 preface here. Her uh-huh. deal is a film with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> she, tweeted, she put out the release like, we ain't gonna let them people hold us down being Ben Shapiro. I'm like, that's, that's the wagon that you hit your horse to? Word? And then Stephen Crowder's like, she can work for me anytime. I'm like, 
that's who you want to associate with? Steven yep. Crowder and Ben Shapiro? Okay. Yep. I mean, she's a fucking anti-Semite racist piece of garbage. Are you ex- are you surprised? Anti-masker. Yeah. Trump supporter. <clears throat> and and I course- was looking at this because BG, he was on that, that bandwagon of let her be Wonder Woman. I was just like, it wasn't a bandwagon. This your Wonder Woman. It wasn't a bandwagon. I was the one controlling the wagon. <laughs> it was. It was just me. I was pulling it was me in a cart. And I'm like, she can't be that. All right, make her Big Barda. Yeah, I was all in. But uh, um, freaking uh, Gail Godot is trash too. So Hollywood is just a trash business. It's all bad. Yeah, it's all bad. Yeah, she's trash. Supported, uh, like I think it was Israel and one of them while they were sit literally bombing kids yeah. and just like I uh-huh. love this book. Yeah, no, she didn't need to tweet none of that. I will say though, yeah. like you get the one, the couple shining gems, which you know her co-star Pedro Pascal, his brother, I believe now came out as trans, and he was just like, yes. Like celebrating it, it's just like you okay, do that. Good, good egg right there. Cool. <clears throat> um, and then he literally talked to Gina about it, like pronoun, like, "Hey, my brother just came out. Cut that sh- out. Don't you understand?" <laughs> it's just like, eh, okay. I got this Star Wars, buddy. This ain't never going away. <laughs> Gina died on the way back to her planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep. I must go. My people need me. And then you got stupid people. I think it was Ted Cruz, where it's just like she wasn't a victim. Uh, the character of Star Wars, she wasn't a victim. She wasn't a princess. She was just a person getting the job done. And girls looked up to her and Disney canceled her. And it's like the character still exists. It's just not Gina Carano no more. Yeah, she, you can... the thing is they don't they don't care about that. That's not their point. Yeah, they no. just want to look like they're fucking doing their thing, protecting conservative values. What a bum! And they're all I, bums, all forty six of them. I love the how again, it's just like she's been canceled, but again, while <laughs> with Ben Shapiro, she has a new film deal. She's not out of a job. She still has hundreds of thousands of Twitter followers. Like what a canceling! <laughs> it's a, if anything, she's probably going to gain followers because yeah. of this. Conservative media will fucking flock to her. Unfortunately. Um we, have, we all know it's a fucking cult. Yeah. We have new castings for Borderlands. Jamie Lee Curtis as Dr. Tannis and Jack Black as the voice of Claptrap. Unnecessary. Move bit, along. A bit odd. Um Jamie Lee, she's she's a bit old. Tannis is quite young. I don't know why they did that. There's also um <laughs> she didn't Hart. look too old. Like if her hair was different, she wouldn't have looked too old and eyes out. Yeah. Um she's aged quite gracefully. But um there's also Kevin Hart as Roland. Roland that's is one I just like quite not. tall and muscular. So that's that's what I'm just like is see he what's we, we don't what we haven't been told yet is that it's going to be Kevin Head's face on top of the rock's body. <laughs> I was thinking that exact thing. Then why not just do The Rock? You're paying two people no, for no, one no. job. Because because Dwayne wants, you know, Hart to get some cred. You know, he wants to look good. So he's going to bite the bullet and just be the body with fucking his head on his shoulders. Just It's going to be Captain it. Captain America treatment before the... Yep, yep. <laughs> I am be so it. tired of Kevin Hart. I'm short jokes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Every Kevin Hart movie, look how short you are. Have you seen Kevin Hart movies? Yes. Really? Bro, I've seen at least four. There are four? <laughs> <laughs> Ride Along? Ride Along wait, 2? Wait, what's Ride Along? Uh, with Ice Cube. Um, He's dating Ice Cube's sister, and uh, Ice Cube's a cop, and he's like, alright, I'm gonna take you for a Ride Along. And then... A actual cop thing happens and it becomes a but okay i'm gonna play the trailer for you da all right and the fact that they made a sequel as well there was that uh kevin hart tiffany haddish movie where i was just like oh oh yeah he needed to 
graduate high school, get a GED or something because he was a salesman or some. I don't remember what it was called, but it was awful. And then I watched one more. Oh, uh, both Jumanji movies. Moving on, we got uh, Bam Margera telling people to boycott Jackass 4. Because Feels so was, sad for him. He needs hope. Because he was cut from the entire movie. Yeah, yeah because, because of substance he, abuse on set. Yeah. He did it to himself. That's he what, needs hope. At least from what I was reading and how he's like trying to like go fund me stuff, like, that's what I kind of thought. I didn't read those specifics but just like yeah. the aftermath of it i'm like this this seems like there's a reason for it <clears throat> unfortunate um uh currently tom holland is denying that toby and andrew are going to be a part of spidey 3 he he basically said i wasn't told and if they're not telling the star of the movie i doubt it's happening He's fighting too they hard. They know to they can't tell you nothing. Yeah. Like, they're... like... <laughs> these these are people that are trying to get him to blab, yeah. but I think he's better about it now, now that he's the star of every movie. <laughs> now that he's, like, experienced the career of, like, Fine. most actors in the span <laughs> that have, like, spanned, like, five to six years in the span of two, <clears throat> I think he's a little bit more tight-lipped now. Um, and the, I guess the other thing too, like, I guess while they were filming, uh, just because he literally like walked off the set of Uncharted into the set of Spider-Man and people basically like the directors and producers were having to tell him like, yo, you're like walking like a man with purpose in this scene. You need to start walking like Peter Parker. <laughs> That's like one of the best things I've read about that movie though. It's hilarious. Um. The Superman and Lois pilot episode happened. Um, oh, it did? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, the trailers have been tremendous. Yeah, I, I've only seen snippets from the pilot episode, and apparently they just went fucking hard on the first episode because it looks like movie-quality Superman stuff. Yeah, they're saying it's hands down the best Superman iteration yet. I don't doubt it because I've said from the beginning, this Superman is my favorite Superman of the past, like, three decades. <laughs> But that's only because they didn't really give uh, what's his face from the movies a chance. Cavell, yeah. Cavell, yeah. He's reading all dour, especially in that trailer. Hint, hint. Mm -hmm. um, Post Malone is apparently heading headlining the Pokemon oh, virtual concert. Who gives a shit Post Malone and Pokemon, Michael? I just got to... Did you guys see the stupid little the snippet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it looks so bad. Post, but post Malone though, just post Malone. And Pokemon. When I think Pokemon, I don't think tattoos from head to toe. It's that's just, your fault. That that's your that's your you know your your failure there. It just looks so weird. Post Malone loves Pokemon. Um, Kingdom Hearts is coming to PC. All of it. Or uh, oh. that threw me for a fucking loop. The, yeah, the one Epic thing Star that I they pay for it. The one thing that I saw that just like <laughs> that made me laugh out of all of it is they had the seat like first <laughs> it's the scene of Woody like holding his hand out to Sora, Donald and Goofy of him looking super serious. And it's like console. And the next picture is PC, but they just added Thomas the tank next to all of them. <laughs> I mean, let's like, face it, that's that's what made that was one of the first big mods for Skyrim. So oh yeah, like you and, know. and you know it's gonna happen, which is wonderful. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, it also happened in Resi and all that. Can right. I just say, uh, there's two points. One, Mike, with this trailer, you literally said we can do this first, and now it's going on last. You cock tease. Two, stop with the Epic Games bush. Like, um, I like that it's coming to PC, and especially if they pay for it to be on PC, like. Uh, Square Enix had no interest in porting it to PC, and Epic was like, we'll buy the port and we'll fund it and blah, 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 just put it on our store. That's cool. But if they were already doing it, and then Epic was like, yeah, only us, though. Here's $3 billion. 
I, f- I hate Epic. See, this is the thing. So many people are like, competition is good. And I've always said, competition is not good. Competition is competition. It's just a thing that exists. The results can be good or bad. Xbox buying Tomb Raider for a year is not good just because it's competition. But Xbox uh, creating new games because of PlayStation, where it's just like, we got to make our own Uncharted and good games coming out because of what they saw PlayStation doing, that's good uh, results of competition. Competition is not always good. So when an Epic came around, this is like, Steam finally has competition. This is great. Oh, look at this. We can't play games on Steam for 18 months. What? And hate Epic. Hey, I hate Sony. Hate this that Sony does. Final Fantasy VII is still not on other things. Wait, you mean Just remake? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just stop with the bush. Final Fantasy XV announced for PlayStation coming to uh, uh 16, coming to other consoles later, other platforms later. Screw you. Yeah. Next story. Uh, last thing before the big one, um, or at least last unrelated thing, because there is one related thing to it. Um, the live action Powerpuff Girls announcement, <laughs> where they are apparently I, I just old, older, like teenage, pre adult, and apparently resent their hero childhood. Yup. Yup. Why? Who wants this? They they regret being superheroes. And I'm raising my plot. hand. Okay. It sounds interesting. It could be good. It could be good. Explain. What do you mean? It's, Explain. Uh, the, the premise itself is interesting. Yeah. It's a bunch of people that... It's a bunch of literal kindergartners that were just having fun with their powers, and now they're in 16, 17 if not 20, going, that sucked. We were tasked to save the world as children. We, for they sure, were tasked. There, there they are... volunteered. No, they no, were they... created with powers, and what are you going to do, not use your powers to save the world? The mayor yeah. has a literal phone of, hey, Powerpuff Girls, come save us. Yeah, well, that's Do you not they, remember the, the entire they episode? volunteered. No, do you not remember the entire episode where they're sitting around going, we're not going to save you guys, figure this out on your own? They resented being superheroes in that moment. And, but that was just the plot of that episode. And then they came back and decided that, okay, we're all for this. I'm saying, it, yeah, and people grow out of things. I was all for Dragon Ball. It, it can be interesting. So long as it's done well. Now, will it be done well? The scales not. tip it closer to no. Like I feel but like based people on that, tra- I would, I would, I would read a fanfic based on that. I feel like there was, was it Riverdale was the like Riverdale like, adult Archie or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Riverdale. Um, I think people are just Boy, trying to recapture bad. that in a bottle, and like they tried with Sabrina, failed. Um, they're do- trying to do it right now with the Winx Club, and that seems to be failing. What? Oh yeah, I can tell you why Sabrina failed because it was simply Sabrina, but she's an adult, and it's probably the same for the Wings Club. They're just the Wings Club, but they're adults. And, and they, they, I think they went too far in the sexy and it upscale, from what I'm hearing. Yeah, I don't doubt oh. it. But the Powerpuff Girls are like we're the Powerpuff Girls, and we hated it. But if like for me, it all depends on the do they CW it too much uh, oh, but you don't want to see bubbles getting it on <laughs> no because <laughs> all I can... <laughs> what that puts in my brain is that voice yeah huh? the <laughs> the Tara strong bubbles voice <laughs> and no <laughs> No, thank you, sir. All right. It has the potential to be good. A good potential to be good. Again, 
scales tipping closer to not good based on the CW stuff I've seen. But they have had a lot of hits as well. So, and by hits, I mean things that are of quality. Sure. I definitely think that it would be a hard six, seven, seven. I'd go 7.5, 8 out of 10 if it was animated. Maybe maybe a movie or a short or something, or maybe like a, a 13 episode run, get in, get out, boom, boom, boom. But I am animation looking forward is sort of to like, seeing Girl Buttercup just be a seeing Girl Buttercup. Yeah, there's 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 interest here. I would like to see how they're doing the the powers, um, how they're translating people to live action. Okay, mild interest. All right. Yeah, it's not the hot. Everybody's just so up in arms. I don't believe that. And I realize that a lot of times Da and I come contrarian. But a lot of the time, a lot of <laughs> the time we come <laughs> every off. single time. Not every single. time. Oh, you just be a country. Absolutely. <laughs> because people go, hey, Suicide Squad <laughs> suck. And we go, yes, Suicide Squad suck. It real bad, y'all. So, no. Something, we're not just like, you don't understand The Last Jedi. Oh, dude, we're going, it's, no. It's like 70%. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. And that's why I'm like, we come off as contrarian most of the time. We would, we would be a lot more popular if we went with. The curve, dude. I I'm so tired of these YouTubers sur- uh, trend surfing. We're just like popular show out. Let me talk about it for quick click. Like I no. almost want you guys to at some point <clears throat> do a revisited you where you, you completely argue the opposite of what you believe. It would be interesting Ooh, and it thing. would be fun. Money. Ooh. Money, Ooh. get in there, and then wow. and put it down. Put it down. Like we gotta remember this. And I would like, what almost you like. I feel like you should do, like, it, like it should be like part four. Like you should find a video that is just trashing part four and just sing its praises. The praises of the video. And, uh, and, no, 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 no. It's, it's got to be a video that loves part four, and we're going as trash. Wait, what? No. Because uh, there's part, I'm in part five. five part five. five. I'm in part five. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Part five. Yeah. Uh, part five, potentially, but I don't think there's anything interesting in this going, yeah, this is a really good point. Yeah, this is a really good video. Blah, blah. You see what I'm saying? Well, no, 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 no. Find somebody no, else trashing it and argue on behalf of it well, being be too good. Confusing. I was just like, we should get old clips of us trashing Dragon Ball. And do that, but then that'd be way too confusing. Yeah. With okay. <clears throat> no, not right, necessarily because right. I could just totally find like somebody. On it. Just find somebody who's singing can, it's no. I really it. like this idea. I, I cannot wait it. for this because I've I've already said that I love doing that. That dumb. I'm taking the opposite opinion just to make BG cringe. I love doing that. And April Fool, yo, that is money. And there's something for Kane's gang. There can't be. <laughs> that that show is without value. <laughs> that's that that's the uh oh shit. The intro that song. on a Thursday. The intro song. Well, fuck. What's the band? It's a Japanese band that's completely English, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, Ray. Yes. Oh, that, okay. This song, every time it comes up on my brand, I'm like, yo, this is a banger. And I'm like, oh, this is King's game. <laughs> That's so, that yeah. song is like a legit five, five <laughs> stars, 10 or 10 song. <laughs> the whole video for King's Game, like, they'll, like, bring up a point. It's just like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't necessarily agree with it. But that intro, though, like, every time you guys pause, <laughs> 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 it's the only good thing to talk about. Oh. All right. We put it off long enough. So, literally today... The trailer for the Snyder Cut Justice League uh-huh. Uh-huh. came out. <sighs> yeah. I'm excited to so, hear what you guys I'm, have to I'm say. I'm going to be completely honest. You know, this, this, is, this is worse than Ralph See? not knowing that this could be better. I didn't know that the We Live in Society was a meme. Yeah. You Did didn't? not know. That was all over the place where when Joker was coming out. 
didn't didn't see it or didn't recognize it as a meme. But having now like fully been immersed, I'm like, oh yeah, I can totally see why this is a thing. Like I I can completely understand it though. And here's the thing, Mike. You mm. picked a bad time to bring this up. Cause now I'm all in with this an idea and I'm looking up video. <laughs> you are, you have been a terrible host today. <laughs> It's a it's a oh. money idea. Mike just out here like, oh okay, they're waiting, they're waiting. All right, quick quick note. All right, now let's get to their idea. I, I wanted to wait. Like, my idea dumpstered your focus. I wanted to. Yes, write... dude, my focus is completely. I do not know what you guys were even talking about. But we do this. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me at <laughs> put, least write down the idea. Put your phone down. <laughs> But yeah, like did not know that this whole thing was a meme, and then just completely straight faced, no ounce of like reference to it. Just the Joker expositing we live in a society to Batman. Bruh. That it because I, I got that mad fresh. As soon as it came on, I'm like, all right, I'm going to the bathroom and watched it for, and I'll just, I was, because that's, that moment, I'm sitting there like, they, what, who is this for? What is this? Oh, dude. Is you this? You see the, the reaction. I, I it, didn't care about this, but now I'm super it excited. It might be just because of the reaction. That would get a reaction. I would get people tweeting about it, and then more people no. are oh you're talking about just the line yeah okay yeah keep going yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about the line itself is it, we're, we're on the line first because the line is the big thing that's that's where i'm just like what who legitimately who is this for it's got to be because it, this isn't a funny jokey movie the, w- snyder doesn't seem like the person who would do a wink and a nudge it seems mad out of place I but think it was hilarious, it was and I big laughed. He thought it was a profound line from the Joker. Now here's the thing, Batman. I don't know if he did that on purpose. No, I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think if, he did either. I don't think it was some ironic wink and nudge no. to the crowd. I, just, I think he literally just said that. I, I, I now I, I could see the other way. I'm sorry to cut you off. I could see the other way because it literally is word for word. Mm-hmm. It's not it's, like our society used to be. It's no. like we live in a society. Yeah, what does that mean out of context? What is just saying that? Yes, of course. What does that mean? And it comes right after it fades to black, and it's the big Joker reveal. It's just, it, it seems very set up to be like this is the line, y'all. I did, I don't I, that that line. That, I don't know what what that is. But your boy was laughing. I don't know <laughs> if this is an old boomer dude just being like, oh, this is a funny thing that I'm putting in because the kids liked it from two years ago. Or it's just him going, yeah, we do know. <laughs> but I was clowning on it. Now we could talk about the entire trailer. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Let's talk about Joker for a second. I like the fact that, because I, I don't like the Joker's look. I don't. It it looks the way yeah. he just got now because yeah. it it seems I the I, face is really good the, the face just just have a normal face it don't need to be painted all around and and smeared no kill the smear just have it be a clean white face red lipsticks done we're done here don't don't need a scraggly hair none of that but if it's like because this is this is jacket desert Batman desert storm Batman that's what we're getting over here. So this is Dream uh, Joker. So it's like, you can do whatever you want with him. That's fine. I, I, once I realized that, I was like, yeah, you're fine. Do whatever you want. This isn't proper timeline Joker. This is this is Omega Beam Joker. Whatever. <laughs> but but just seeing it out the gate, I'm like, nah, this is trash. But seeing it in that context, I'm like, all right, whatever. You do it. You do whatever you want. It, I would have liked it if he had like one arm or something. That that something. It, like, it, to me, it was just relatively inoffensive, especially compared to the Suicide Squad Joker. Mm-hmm. Just the tattoos. I, I, I would just prefer a clean 
just a clean face. Yes, you're talking of, like, ideal. But when you're starting <laughs> at a negative 10, <laughs> I'll take a three. <laughs> I I want better. I don't want just better than what we got. I want good. But that's yeah, I don't like... want to get I don't want to get my face on and then my face pissed on and go thanks for pissing on my face. But that's like to me, that's if it's like okay, new Batman. There's a new Joker coming. That's when I'll expect things like super high. But this is Snyder verse Suicide Squad Joker going to Snyder verse <laughs> Justice League Joker. Like my bar. It wasn't high. <laughs> so, like, I completely agree with you if it's like, if I don't have that expectation of Snyder over here. <laughs> so, the trailer on the whole, I watched it and then I watched it again with the context of if I didn't know what this movie is about, what is this movie about? And it does not tell you whatsoever. To be mm-hmm. fair, considering it's a teaser, I don't know if they're going to get That it. mug is like two and a half minutes. This that ain't no te- teaser. You don't remember the first Bass V Soup Street teaser? I think it was like a minute 48. Yeah, but it, it had a lot of meat in it. We did discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't think it told you. Because remember, the mm-hmm. whole argument was, why are Superman and Batman even fighting? Mm-hmm. But at least you got in the beginning, you got the false god thing, and you can see that the people are turning against him. Batman is a people, so you can assume that he's turning Batman against him. Batman is a people. Yes, that is that it was on purpose. Um, yeah, uh, but they still they thought the line about a prophecy and you know, doom is coming and blah blah blah. And they show dark side both in the prophecy wall and dark side himself. So, and then. Uh, Stepping Wolf is bowing, just like my lead. Let, let me have this. Blah, blah, blah. Did they, they filter his voice more? Punch. Yes, they yes, did. It's terrible. They went anti Bane. They reversed no. it. <laughs> it's even more. The no. only reason I can think of is whatever new lines he was going to create, the filter wasn't going to be perfect and it wasn't going to line up perfectly with everything else in the film. So they were like, let's throw more on that so everything sounds the same. That's the Ugh. only reason I can think of doing that. <laughs> Absolutely his voice was more filtered. Absolutely <laughs> so, like, he looked I didn't, horrible. I didn't know if for, like, because I only watched the trailer once. I like and like You're crazy no. four times. You got it. You got to take it I, all in because it's I, just a bunch of shots of some, like cyborg flying, and you don't, you don't get that on the first view. You just go, oh, that's just that that's bad. But you got to watch it again and go, oh no. Yeah, I, I, it wasn't I, until the third time of watching it, I was like, oh, I think Barry saves um, Iris in that freaking car. That one, I, I the first two times I was just like, okay, cool scene of him saving some woman, but it's Iris, I believe. Ah, uh, okay. I need, <laughs> I need to watch it a few more times. Like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, first, you first... need to you need to watch so many times to take in all of Snyder's genius. What are you doing? <laughs> that is the heaviest of air quotes that I've ever heard. <laughs> that is me being Aww. the most fair to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, the first time I heard that voice, like I was like, was that was that Dark Side? Was that? Is that stepping? <laughs> oh no! And then Superman's cry that goes. What on is up for... with that seismic shock wave that he re- unleashes? Is he Banshee? That's not what happened in the movie. You can't, you can't go back to that movie and change that movie. That <laughs> yes, didn't happen. Can. You can't do that. I That's not what we're doing. He just yes, they can. You can't. He did. But that wasn't. No, nope. can't. That movie he exists. Okay, this Justice League movie, League movie that don't exist. But you can't, you can't go. Yeah, in a fight with Metropolis, there was Flash saving people. No, he wasn't. Or was you he? can't do that. That's not did. what happened in that other movie. You can't just go. He did. He at least some dumb seismic scream that alerted Dark Side. That's not what happened. I'm sorry, dude. How about, how about you say yes. trailer? Cause that's exactly no. What <laughs> I thought I went. Is this? I'm like, oh, 
this is just some sort of interpretation. Then you saw them it's literally rippling. I'm like, it's no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> How about yes, yes, yes? <laughs> I don't know why you're fighting this so hard. It's literally it, no, like, it's a dumb thing to, nope. to fight. <laughs> I thought I was like, this is, what? No. This is Snyder, yes, ending improv to you, nothing. You can't do this. <laughs> Superman dies. Yes, and he screams. Yes, and it alerts Darkseid. Yes, and Steppen. We'll see how that goes. You see how Snyder, the genius of Snyder, he's just off the cuff, blah, blah, blah. Piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We got two it's not going to be a good movie. We got two more hours of this movie. Two more? For what? Just for all that Joker. For an hour of it's probably the nightmare section. Oh. Legit, that mug is gonna go on. Oh. That mug, that's gonna be, that's gonna be all your explanation. That's where you're gonna get the dark side and everything. That mug gonna go on. Hey, remember when you were like, "No, we don't really need to stream that because it might not be <laughs> that bad." This is gonna be. This bad. is gonna be real bad. But I fear more that it will. Be what bad. is even the point of black suit Superman? Is that in the nightmare suite sequence? Because no, that's where he comes back. And then he just goes, I'm back, y'all. And then he pulls out his black suit and puts it on. Because he had that always. For what purpose? Hmm? <laughs> in, in, hmm? in the off chance. Just in case. Just in case, like, y'all get a little did. uppity. You don't want to see the black, all right? <laughs> that off chance that he was going to die and be revived. It, it, it was, you know. Special occasions. But then you pull out the black and white tie. Comes back to people like bye, bye. He's like, all right, I'm gonna be right back here. But doesn't that mean that the scene where uh, the Justice League fights some changes? Hmm. Because you know, Flash did the same like hand motion near run when he was fighting Superman, and Superman still goes to the farm after the fact, which means Batman does bring Lois, and that all still happens. Also, but if Superman's already alive and in black suit, how does that work? Also, complete sidebar from this, but I think there was a snippet of it in the trailer. Can I just say that the this DC Universe Flash's run is the dumbest looking run in the world? Oh, dude, you're like four years too late for that. I'm aware, but I'm just reiterating. I just it, it like it just reminded me of that. I'm like, God, that's stupid. Urza Miller <laughs> is a piece of. Sh- and he cannot run for shit. Speaking, actually, I, I there there is a tangential piece of news that I saved for this. Um, anything else we want to talk about the trailer? Oh, DA is rewatching it. Oh, you can boy. stop with the screen, bro. It Dude. exists. Sh- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how much this bothers me. I have no, I have no, I have rare positive things to say about Batman versus Superman. But you don't just retcon whole movies like that. You don't just add what like, all right, about? this is, I need this to be in my movie. So I'm going to change that movie. You don't do that. I'm so, no. Didn't they really do that on the last, the one after the last Jedi? Rise of Skywalker. Where it's just like, yeah. The last movie. Yeah. Okay, but they but they weren't just like, yeah, Snoke. I, I don't even know what we like an equivalent to this. Like, I I don't I don't know. Just just changing a scene. I don't. Luke never threw away the lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah, he, he dropped it respectfully. Don't you remember that, you guys? <laughs> uh, shot first. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> I will sit there and I'll just in, in silence as I'm waiting for somebody to just shut up on their on a call. Just in my mind, just go McClunky, <laughs> and I will just laugh to myself. It's it's hilarious. You are an insane person. This is not news. No. <laughs> Um, but the, the last little bit of news was the, um, 
a bunch of fellow actors are actually coming out in support of Ray Fisher about Joss Whedon's Joss treatment. Whedon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot. Joss of, looking like a real piece of. Yeah, a oh, yeah. lot of actors and actresses from Buffy, which was like where Joss Whedon kind of made a name for himself. Um, basically, are coming out with their own stories. Um, one of the actresses who was. I believe played the character Dawn, if I'm not mistaken. Um, basically how just completely abusive, um, uh, verbal abuse, mental abuse, how basically he told her to get an abortion when she got pregnant. Like, just a bunch of awful fucking shit. Um, apparently he took pleasure in making the female writers cry. I just read that today as well. Yeah, just a whole bunch of shit and just giving way, just more and more and more credence to Ray Fisher and kind of just highlighting that WB were also pieces of shit for firing him. And protecting in Wheaton. Yeah. Yep. This is April, right? It comes out in April. And what's up with this dramatic what? music? Snyder Cut. Oh, March 18th. Oh, it's Mar- oh okay. Next oh, month. It's, it's a comedy. Yeah, I've already requested that day off. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm watching that day one. All right. <clears throat> I need to go rewatch this trailer a bunch more. Anything I'll else we want to talk more. about? Oh, I'm just rewatching the trailer. Man, Man Steppenwolf <laughs> looks really bad. He looks awful. In sync. He looks really, really bad. <laughs> yeah. I did like the bull line from Alfred. Uh, Alfred is Alfred has been knocking it out the park. He yeah. has been Jeremy Irons he's is been good in both of those. Forever a treasure. Um Fact man. Do we have any facts? <laughs> I I legit forgot to look up facts. The fact <laughs> is that screamed shouldn't exist. Thank you. Moving on. Oh, oh, a hundred percent. Fool me once. Shame on you. F- fool me. You can't get fooled again. <laughs> People are still falling for the Schneider trailer Okie Dope. Still getting excited over his trailers like his movies haven't been consistently shite. Oh, yeah. The people who were going to get excited about this were going to get excited anyway. I got excited over Man of Steel after that last trailer, which I still to this day think is one of the greatest trailers ever produced. But that movie sucked. And now, from now on, uh, I got okie doke one more time with the in Bats v. Soup's uh, teaser trailer with Lex, and then after that, I saw him and I went, Nope, never again with Snyder. Never again, I got okie dope. Never again, <laughs> will you say that? Yeah, I was about no! to say, because I see what he is. I seen the uh, movie, the trailer is not gonna kill, it's not gonna trick me into believing that this movie could be any form of good. Sorry. You were spe- you specified with Snyder. I was just saying that y- you will get okie doked. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody gets okie doked by trailers. Everybody. That's that's the whole point of the trailer. The trailer's supposed to get a butt in the seat. And if you go, wow, that looks really good. They did their job. I have no problem with uh, trailers okie dokie. I I have problems with trailers being false, but. Okie dokie and me, like, ah, oh, this looks better than it actually was. Or showing all the scary bits and then the whole movie is just nothing until, and they showed all the best parts of the trailer. And I'm just like, oh man. But, you know, I have no problem being okie doked. Okay. I just won't be from Snyder ever again. Are we As looking? You shouldn't. That's like, that's, that's like getting hopes up for Shyamalan stuff. Uh. The trailer, uh, the movie looked okay. The acting mm. sounds horrendous. I don't know what soap opera he pulled them out of, but he needs to send them back and get some seasoned vets because uh, that acting was poor. 
Is that the best cut you got? But the premise itself is cool. Huh. We'll see. No facts? I was looking through these facts and um, the man who designed the Pringle can, Fred Breyer, is buried in one. What? <laughs> His ashes are buried in a Pringles can. <laughs> oh That's from Brandon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? We always create the thing that kills us. <laughs> Pringles can I have on a show for right now and I can't <laughs> man what about his family she's like I can't even look at it. my daddy underground in a sour cream and onion Pringles <laughs> I wonder if they created a specific label for them yeah I just like what flavor what flavor is he buried in what, what flavor oh, it's ashes <laughs> it'll be original <laughs> it'll be some <laughs> deep message bitch <laughs> Y'all just go in this ground <laughs> at the funeral. You got waiters with their plates and like salt and vinegar, ma'am. <laughs> did, did, did they need the mega stack? <laughs> How much ashes did he take? How much did he take up? What's his volume? Oh, man. He popped and he didn't <laughs> stop. No, he did stop. No, <laughs> God just called him up there to pop even more. Like... I have so many questions now. <laughs> <laughs> My question is why? Why why did the family allow that? No, we Ooh. putting them in a coffin. <laughs> this is a commodity. Okay, so like, Leto if if they didn't say he was buried in one my immediate thought, because, like, if you get cremated, typically that urn is, like, on a fucking fireplace. So it's like, do they just have a Pringles can sitting on top of the fireplace? <laughs> no, they have to bury it. There's Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. I would hate to have kids over, like, oh, Pringles! I'm yeah, like, like, no, 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 no. Oh, no that's no. your granddad. What? Oh. So, oh uh, God. Leto made them at the We Live in a Society. <laughs> It seems all the actors had things in order to be signed on to this, and his one of his was, "I want to say we live in a society." That that's that's not that just that ruins it. <laughs> yeah, have fun, plebs. Oh, Didn't God. have to be in the trailer. Oh, before we got out of here, don't go watch the latest revisited. Bye. Uh, Cosmo is terrible. He's a terrible creator. Cosmo's terrible. Um. Uh, I'll see Trump again in the next three years. Big ups. What? <laughs> he he wants Trump to run again and win. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> how do you allow that man? He's how dabbing do, on y'all. How do how do you dabbing. go? Trump was absolutely implicit in this, and then vote to uh, <laughs> absolve him because they created a technicality. Yeah, there were. I, I was watching this, and of course you were. Um, I wasn't watching all of it because it was do. very, very. You are just. You, I'm insane. This the is, things this is, that interest me are. I'm, I, I I say this a lot. I don't like a lot of things, but the things I like, I love. And this is something that I love. I love clown shoes. I love a sh show, and this is what this was. Now, in the beginning, it was the um the Democrats who were just like he did all this. He it, it, it's clear. We're, we're done here. And it was the Republicans had turned uh, rebuttal. And as a, the Democrats, I'm like, okay, yeah, open and shut case. And then the Republican came in. I was like, oh, no, they got it. I was just thinking that, like, this isn't, I'm, t I'm jumping out the characters. I don't want, I don't want Trump to not be impeached. I'm like, he needs to be. He's a dangerous person. But as it was happening, I'm like, oh, no, he's, he's not going to be impeached. They got to, because they were just showing, like, look, here's a footage of this dude the night before. Trump even said anything about going in, up there and doing anything. Here's him planting a bomb. That had nothing to do with Trump. This was a premeditated thing. There were there's forums and everything going. Hey, let's do this. Trump had nothing to do with that. You guys are just showing this one tweet where he's going do this. You guys are just showing this one speech where he did said go do this. This was planned weeks in advance. And I'm like, rip, rip. But that wasn't even like most of these Republicans are coming out and saying he was complicit. 
the technicality is that <clears throat> they're like, we can't try him because he's not in office anymore. The problem is, is that they could have done that. But at the time, Majority Leader McConnell... Uh, what's the word? He adjourned the Senate until the next year when Biden was inaugurated. So he created the technicality of, oh, he's not in office anymore. They could have tried him while he was in office. Now they dragged their feet for that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, the technicality. And it's stupid because, again, America the Constitution technically is, sucks. Yeah, the Constitution is vague. You could see it one way or the other, and it's just. <clears throat> and then you get into That's the whole. That thing. gray area of lawyers in love. Yeah, then you get into the two thirds majority filibuster, all that other crap that basically. I feel means. like I would have made a good lawyer. <laughs> Maybe. All right. For things like this, where it's just like, it's a gray area, so you got to convince them of just like. See it my way. With that, oh. we will end today's episode of the podcast and stuff. I'm still thinking about this Pringles thing. This, is, <laughs> this has changed me. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You like the foot to the wrist thing? Yeah. <laughs> We're tuning in to this episode of the podcast and stuff. We will see you next week. Later.